Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Resident Evil 5. Oh, that looks pretty. QTEs, alright. Oh good. Well <laughs> that's that part of the boss done. Persistent son of a bitch. So now what? Do you think our weapons can hurt that thing? Nope. I don't know. But we gotta get the hell out of here before it destroys this place. <sighs> Are you okay? Too much appreciated. Don't worry, we've, we've got time to do some searching. Just gotta be very aware I can't just go running around willy nilly. Hang on, was there something there? No. Rifle after all. Ugh, 
I keep removing those from you because they're useless. We don't use them. You right there, Shiver? Mine. My God! Look how big it's become. Fuck! You really need to pay attention and work on my reaction times. My reactions are really bad. Go, and we got rid of that useless landmine too. Oh, All right, we can't go that way. Go through there. Let's just go through there, most likely. And there's nothing up here. All right. Automatic navigation's been engaged. I can't operate it. Fair enough. Project re project report on Project W, August twenty eighth, nineteen ninety eight. It has been confirmed that the accident at the Raccoon City Arctic Research Facility was due to the involvement of Project W, test subject number 013, hereafter referred to as Albert. His death in the accident has made obtaining any further information an impossibility. Albert's death was confirmed by the Information Department. Albert's death put the current success rate of Project W down to 18%. The quota of qualified individuals for the project has been drastically reduced and must be addressed immediately. This poses a grave situation for any progress that can hope to be made in the project. Since there is no roster of qualified individuals to replace the recent losses, it would be advisable to start selecting individuals from the pool of failed candidates. After this, adju after this adjustments can be made that will restore up to 93% of the quota prior to Albert's death. Umbrella Information Department Alex W. Ooh, Alex Wesker. Spencer's Notebook. I just received word that Raccoon City has been wiped out. The Americans finally took action against us. I hope the irony of using the very military machine that was supposed to protect them from foreign attack attackers to kill their own people is not lost on them. While the danger posed by the threat of the T-virus spreading was very real, I don't think Americans will easily forgive their government for, for the deaths of over 100,000 of their own people. If the truth of this matter is ever brought to light, support for the current administration will plummet. I don't think he wants that. Even a child can see that they will come after Umbrella with everything they have to hide their own foolish mistakes and they will blame Umbrella for Raccoon City's annihilation. It would seem Umbrella will share Raccoon City's fate, but perhaps it will be to a lesser degree. 
Umbrella was nothing but a tool for the research of the progenitor virus. Even without that tool, the research still survives. Only Umbrella's lowly employees will be hurt by its dissolution. If the secret research involving the progenitor virus is protected, then I can always rebuild anew. I've always had, I've always made preparations for such a plan. The research facility in Africa remains a secret, and it is there that the progenitor virus is produced, something that we didn't achieve until the late 80s. Only a handful of people in the company are even aware of the African facility's existence, thanks to our strict regulation of the flow of information. Only a minimum amount of personnel were ever transferred from Africa to other locations. <coughs> Excuse me. And they were always closely monitored. Director Bailey has been confined to the African facility for almost 30 years, and even that has, and even that has been for this day. All that remains is to close that facility and everything will go according to my plan. Once the facility is gone, all its connections to Umbrella will disappear with it. it then I will have to deal with it, then I will, then I will have to deal with anyone who has a level 10 security clearance as they are the only ones who know of the African facility's existence. Everyone else will be summarily summer, disposed of. My secrets will be protected. When one, bis when one buries a treasure, one should not leave behind a map. A printout is stuck inside the notebook. Personnel with access to company secrets. Level 10. Oswell Spencer, deceased. Henning P, imprisoned. Masaki T, deceased. Jenny K, whereabouts unknown. Carlos M, found. Information obtained, eliminated. Level 9, deceased, deceased, deceased. Oh, they're all dead. Ethan W. Ethan Winters, maybe? <laughs> Unlikely, because he's this Ethan's dead. Alright. Okay, what have we got going on up here? Well, the controls seem to be working in working order, but it won't let me operate them. It looks like, like being back on the Queen Zenobia. Locked up, I can't operate it. Alright. Oh, what's this? Satellite Laser Shango Operating Manual The Shango Satellite Laser is operated by using a rocket launcher style laser targeting device LTD that sends targeting coordinates to the satellite. The satellite is then capable of firing a highly concentrated laser to, to within centimetres of the target. Operation Procedures 1. Aim the LTD at the target to relay the coordinates to the satellite. 2. Once the target has been Ascertained, the coordinates will be relayed during the transmission. The target ring will appear red on the targeting scope. Note: If the targeting sensor's AI perceives that target is no longer being tracked by the targeting scope, transmission of the coordinates will be cancelled. When lock-on appears in the scope, it means the transmission has been successfully sent. Pulling the trigger will now activate the laser. The firing cannon must be given time to recharge before it can be refired. Satellite laser. We just might have a chance. The targeting device is on the roof. Come on, there's no time to lose. Uh, hold on. Grab some ammo. And before we go into battle. Thanks, partner. All right, I think we've got everything here, haven't we? Yeah, let's head upstairs. Need to deal with Excella now. Take it. Okay. Take it. Okay. Anything in here? No. Nope. 
And there's our targets. That thing is huge. Do you really think we can kill it? Guess we've got to do something with that, maybe. Do you mind? I was in the middle of something. It's all on you, Chris. I've got your back. <sighs> God damn it. Yes, there we go. No, that's not going to be that easy. No, there we go, there's the main one. Yes, there we go. Of course not. Oh, good. Chris, above you. It's like the bloody Hydra Dragon thing. <laughs> Wait, did that miss? It moved, you cheating bastard. Yes! But that's one dealt with. Oh shit. Oh, you got it. Good, good stuff. Oh shit! Why do you do that? Uh, you're covered. Let's go for you then.
Stay still. Fish charging. Yes. Oh, come on. This, this has to be the last one, surely. Yes, no, maybe so. No. Cool. Fuck. Where did I put it? There it is. Yes! Come on, this has to be the last one now. Rule of three. Yes, there we go. Goodbye, Excella. Strike the death pose. <laughs> Oh boy! Ah, that's better. And I've still got a B rank. Enemies rooted, but you know what? I'll take all those S's. And for now, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Resident Evil 5, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now. <laughs>